Hey, Captain Oh, it's this Captain Arius. Boar carcass? Oh, thanks, man. Get us all sorts of stuff. Appreciate you, buddy. Let me let me build this uh this other stuff real quick, but thank you. Thank you. Let me put this on the ground real fast. Simple chest. Really? Okay. <clears throat> cool. Um We're in the map, are we? Uh, we are currently on the Marie continent, and we're in the Wit area, which is on the south of the thing there. Yep. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think what would be the best. I think for the blacksmithing tools, we're going to need to build. Wait, did somebody drop me clay? Hold on. Maybe someone dropped us clay. Um, Berserker. Berserker mushroom? Oh, that sounds awesome. I want a berserker mushroom. Divine mushroom? Where are we getting all this stuff? Uh, let's go over here. Let's see what we need exactly for this chest. It's, it's, I think it's just the rough logs and the wooden eggs. Okay, good. So we're going over here. Make you. I found those mushrooms in the woods north of your base. Cool. Very cool. Okay, there's that. Do one more for the tenant here. Mm -mm. Okay. Simple chest. If you guys are building anything around me, by the way, let me let me know. Uh, I'd love to stop by and see what you guys are building. There. I wish there was a way to keep the boundaries of my plot up at all times when I was standing in it. It'd be very convenient. Why can't I place this chest? I'm hitting the four button on my keyboard. Do I need... Oh, do I need to construct it? Oh, okay. Not my plot. Oh. Oh, there is a white line there. It's just super, super hard to see. Wait, where's the white? There's like a white line that goes here. I just can't see it. That should be outside of my plot. I am so... But okay, I'll take it. Um, oh wait, maybe this is outside of my... Maybe this is no one's plot. Is this no one's plot? Yeah, I think that was no one's plot. Okay. Okay. No man's land. Yep. Okay. Go lost the plot. I always do. Let's be real. All right. I think we're good. We're good. I'm going to pop you down here for now. We're going to move all this stuff up. Oh, oh, what am I doing? What I just do? That's not how you move items. Oh, I think I ate them. Uh, control click. Shift click. Swap. Ah. Okay, so it's, it's swap. Hmm. Okay. So I will say, um, yeah, QOL, it's early access, but definitely, definitely QOL is uh, going to be a thing. Can we sort our inventory? Uh, 
Okay. Is there sorting? Am I missing sorting somewhere? <clears throat> okay. All right. So back to what we were looking at. I think I need to build the charcoal kiln. But what is what is my next progression element? Like when I get new stuff here. Um, if I go back and look at this. We made the anvil piece, but I don't think that did anything. Right? Or maybe I need to make the anvil piece. Does it say if we've made one of these before? Oh, no. Unlocks new recipe right there. Okay, cool. Great. So if I make this, that's really handy that it says that. That's great. Okay. So we just learned how to make an anvil. Great. All right, now. You know what would be really, really handy in a game like this? A menu that showed you all the items you haven't made yet. Can you sort it by that? So, like, you would have almost like a, a menu of knowing exactly what you still needed to do. That'd be really handy. Uh, anyway. So, um... Now, if we're looking for anvil, it's probably in here. Is that spoilers? Ah, I mean, it would kind of depend, I guess, on the on the the situation. You could show like a, a a blacked out version of the icon and the requirements to get it, and then when you actually build it, it could show what it is. For instance, yeah, I mean, there there'd be lots of ways to get around that. Uh, we need five nice rocks. Five nice rock. Uh, there we go. Oh wait, no, over here. Man, I am because yeah, because I don't see all the, the walls of my plot. It's very hard to orient myself for me personally. That's a that's a me thing, but it is still a me thing. There we go. Going back up here. Opening up our build. Yes. Okay. Not my plot. Go right down. Boop. Great. Stone anvil. Iron bar, iron nails, iron wire, iron axe head. It's all used by an iron ingot, which I don't have an iron ingot. Hey, Clay, thank you very much, buddy. So, we need a furnace. How do we make a furnace? Maybe we have, like, a furnace parts or something we can... I don't think it's the charcoal kiln. I feel like that's for charcoal. Is that... Is the charcoal kiln for iron? I'm a charcoal kiln? That's rude. Yeah, please, please, please don't do that. Thank you. You'll need charcoal, though, to make iron. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and grab, we need five more clay and 10 sapwood. We can get right here. By the way, we passed the second hour. Um, I do want to give a huge shout out and thank you to our friends over at the, uh, at New Tales and Mainframe Industries for sponsoring the stream. This is PAX Day. This is a survival MMO style game coming out. Uh, in early access on June 18th. If you want more information, there's a profile button in my profile or the pack state command, which should be pinned to the top of my chat. If it's not, if mods, we could do that. And uh, yeah, and all that fun stuff too. So cool. Big thanks to the devs. And right now we are playing this game. Our current goal is to outfit ourselves. We're going to work on outfitting ourselves so we can hopefully go do some combat and stuff. And we are currently working towards 
So join us, won't you? Is Code doing SGF? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oop. Oop, the clay must flow. The clay must flow, dude. The clay must flow. Mm. Uh, SGF is in four, just under four hours. About three hours and 45 minutes. Yep. It's a bit away. Whoa, well. Well, well. Yep. I said it. Quick clay look while we're over here. Let's see if we'll get lucky. I see somebody dropped a bunch of... Oh. I don't know whose clay this is, but it's mine now! Woo! Okay. <clears throat> All right, great. Yes, that, that is a, a real-world picture of me after getting the clay. It was an accurate representation. Okay, I think we're good. Head back to the plot of Rooney. Can I still just warp to my plot? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> that was a, a fun uh, debug thing in one of the last betas. Clay Carnage, you know it. You know it. Hmm... You've got to kill him. Oh, so I wonder by making the sapwood, is that what triggered all the other stuff that we need? Or the charcoal in there with the sapwood? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know what the devs might want to consider? The devs might want to consider adding a starting class to this game. And like if you pick a crafter or a builder, like it gives you like starting clay and starting stuff. And then if you pick like a warrior, it gives you like starting basic gear. So you can just go out and start beating stuff if you wanted to. Like, like nothing good, just, just the most basic of basic gear. Um, cause I mean, like for instance, if somebody like, and the reason I say that is it does just look like a survival crafting game. So I feel like if players could get to the part that interests them the most, the quickest, I feel like they would be able to find the hook the fastest and therefore enjoy the game sooner, you know? Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm off base with that, but I, I kind of feel like that might help get to the good parts just a little bit quicker. Because one interesting thing I'm thinking of is I'm looking at this and I'm going, man, the resources are a little stressed right now. But then I'm also remembering that this is like this, this, this game is good. This game is a solid crafting game. This game's going to be popular on the 18th. There's going to be a lot of people playing this on the 18th. And I wonder like if there's a way to kickstart those players into the fun parts quicker. Um, so they don't just log in, have trouble getting basic resources. And then they're like, then they don't get to the fun part, you know, um, which would be super unfortunate. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I just don't want to see people like stopped building, you know, like right now we're running around kind of trying to find, get basic stuff done. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to get to kind of the cool fun part that I want to this stream at this point. And I would hate for a normal player to run into that as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, we can't actually build this here. No, we can't. We can't. Let's go ahead and get this in now, and then we can make some charcoal, and then hopefully that'll jump part the next one. What is in this game besides building? So this game actually, there's a there's a huge amount to this game besides building. There's dungeons. There's a there's PvP. There's like a, a whole equipment progression quest where your equipment dictates your class. Like spells and abilities are attached to your gear, which then is like how you decide what your person does outside of a leveling system. There's there's like all this really really interesting stuff in the game, but you don't really see any of that 
a lot of games have the building and crafting in parallel. This game seems to have, in many ways, the build, excuse me, excuse me, the building and, a lot of games have the building and combat in parallel. But this game seems to have the building and combat in a much more serial fashion, to where you have to do a whole lot of building before you get to the combat stuff. And um, so th that's one of the reasons you haven't seen any combat this, this time. Because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm still doing a lot of basic building stuff. Um, been running around finding basic resources, stuff like that. So, yeah. But no, to, to be clear and to answer the question in chat, there is a lot more to this game than what you're seeing. And uh, we're kind of working towards that point now. Mm hmm Wait, is that is that 20 minutes for one item craft? Oh wow, but it makes 20. Okay. All right, let's truck it along. What area are we in? Uh, we're in the Mary continent in the Wit region. Yep. Is it possible to play this game right now? No, this game goes live on the uh, 18th of June in early access. Is this another survival game? Yes, but this one is trying to do some extra stuff. Um, this one is much more MMO focused, has a lot of extracurricular survival elements also at play. Does this game have a monthly subscription? Uh, no. I do not believe it does. No. Yeah, okay. Um, Oh, to answer, there, there's an FAQ. Somebody said, like, how do classes and all that combat stuff work? Um, oh, 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 Chad is saying it will. That is the plan. When it launches. Okay. Which is not on the 18th. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, is there an XP system or a skill tree? Okay, so this is from their, their FAQs. Uh, and thank you, chat. I, di I didn't realize that. So wait, so wait, so wait. Hold on, hold on. So you, when you go to the pre-order, become a founder, pre-purchase now. Okay, okay, I see. Pack Day Early Access will start on June 18th. Pre-purchase the game now be among the first to play as soon as it releases. Purchasing a founder pack grants you access to the game and all the content listed above for the entire duration of early access. The exact business model and pricing of pack state after early access are not defined yet. This is on the official website. With the full release after early access, we plan to introduce a fee subscription or similar for ongoing access to the game and plots and plots on top of the initial game purchase. Founders packs do include that game purchase. And all of the stuff you get in the Founders Packs will be moved over to the game. We will be transparent about our future pricing plans and provide more details as we approach the final release. There's the information for, for your decision making. And, that, and where did I get that? That's all through the link in the command. Okay. Uh, let's do... Hey, there's Pouties! Pouties, did you apply, by the way? Hold on. Um, okay. Let's see. Plan. Membership. Have they said the price of the base game? Uh, I don't think so. The, the stuff through the link is, is founders, which I believe are, are different. That is that is not the same. They include the base game, but they also have a bunch of other stuff. Uh, definitely look at the page and, and read all of it um, to get all the info in there. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of guys. Hey, there's Noctra. Hey, Noctra. Hi, Jax. Hello, hello. Aberdonian man. What's up, buddy? I like how this guy's name is T. How are you doing today? T. Oh, yeah? There's Costner. Hopefully that's Kevin Costner. 
I'm sure it's probably him. Uh, early access is on the 18th. Yep. Mm. Gambo King says, Why spend a flat amount for the game and then continually pay for the game every month? Just having a sub plan to own the game would make sense than adding an additional flat fee. Uh, that's what a lot of, of MMOs, especially back in the day, used to do. Um, to answer your question, though, my assumption is, like most traditional MMOs, the subscription fee is to keep the lights on, as it were. So the thing about MMOs that makes them so traditionally harder, so much more harder to make, is that they require so much more infrastructure. Login servers, syncing servers, actual servers. Um, just all the different things that need to work in unison and be up at all times for that MMO to be active. Uh, so I believe from the sounds of it and the look at the structure of this game and how many players are going to be in it at once and the fact that they want as many players as they do on, on as few servers as they do, my thinking is that they're doing a sub B thing to pay for those servers. That's my guess. So that that is the traditional payment format that uses, and I'm guessing that's what they are now. They have said, as you saw in there, they're going to be very transparent with that, though. So my hope, personally is that they really stick to that and let us know exactly where those funds are going and 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 you know even better yet if they want to go into the cost benefit analysis and all that kind of stuff like the more the more transparent here here's here's what I will say about this the more transparent the devs can be about a purchase and subscription plan which many people will feel is a lot more than normal the more transparent they can be with that the exponentially better it will be for them um, they say in that, and I'm really glad they said that they were going to be transparent because I, I'm looking at chat. I can already tell it's going to be a huge problem. Um, like that's, that's a hard pill to swallow, uh, buy and sub. And the thing is, is here's the thing. A lot of people are happy to buy and sub if the game provides them with 40 hours of entertainment a week, take world of Warcraft. Um, but the problem is that you really only want to be paying monthly fees if you're going to be playing that game monthly. Um, and maybe maybe the plan is to make it so there's there's content there's a content treadmill and stuff constantly being added. Like I don't know if they know that plan yet. Hey pouties. Um, maybe that is their plan. Maybe maybe they want a subscription fee because they want a content treadmill into the game to keep players playing it all the time. Maybe that's the plan. Um, but yeah, we'll have to kind of see what their intention is with the subscription fee. Um, before at least me personally would like recommend taking that dive or not taking that dive. Yep. It also really depends on the base game price. It's one thing to be like, yeah, you know, you're going to pay 10 bucks a month and $30 for the base game. It's another thing to be like, yeah, you're going to be paying $60 for the base game and $20 a month. Uh, two very, very, very different feels there. Um, yeah. And maybe even have like, a no sub plan like maybe offer a plan that doesn't require subscription but like has reduced functionality um like i hate to say this i hate to say this but maybe like the 76 model where it's like let your whales pay for everyone else <laughs> but um yeah i i don't know man it'll be it'll be interesting i i will tell you this i will be closely following this project if nothing else to see how they handle that because this is going to be one of the first games in a while that's that's wanted a, a purchase and potential monthly. And it'll be very interesting to see how their player base, like, absorbs that. Mm hmm Yep. No question. What are we doing right now? Lightly looking for more clay as I continue to want to build that. We're also waiting for some charcoal to process. They said that person was trying to give you clay. Oh, mooses? Well, I mean, right now we're waiting for charcoal because I'm hoping that will unlock my uh, my my furnace stuff. Why, oh, thanks, moose. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much. Hell yeah, dude. I will say just, just the crafting part and construction part of this alone does make me very much want to consider in 1.0 doing like a big coalition build. Like that, that idea makes me... The, the crafting and construction system in this game is really, really solid. I mean, yeah, it's a traditional survival game, but 
outside of QOL. It doesn't have the QOL, but the actual system that I played with last time was pretty pretty good. So that that, if nothing else, could be a lot of fun. It's a lot of smoke. Do they all smoke that much? Or does that mean it's done? Oh no, they all smoke that much. Okay. Rithgore says, I'm down for a 1.0 co-clan. I can sink time into this with Cat. Yeah, that's like, the thing with, another thing with games like this for me is I, I have a hard time getting invested in them until like, it's, it's kind of like when you play, uh, it, well actually, what am I saying? It's kind of like, it's exactly like when you play an MMO in beta. It's kind of hard to play an MMO when it's in beta because you know all of your progress is going to be erased. <laughs> now, granted, I don't know. I don't think they're doing that with early access, but a part of me knows that when the 18th rolls around, if I'm going to want to play, I'm going to make a new character. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for my character. I'm sold on the building. I'm sold on the construction. I'm ready for my character. <laughs> but I have that same feeling that I have in like uh, MMO betas where it's just like, all right, let's do this. I'm ready to dive in. <laughs> they are they already are mentioning uh of the sites and they are going to be wiping the map cool okay um one thing i'm curious about is though uh and 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 i'll need to ask let me see if the person i can um have you guys announced if there will be wipes after early access like i'm wondering if they've said anything publicly about um after the 18th, if there will be wipes, and if there will be a big wipe before 1.0. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait to say your answer. Hold on. There will be some wipes during early access when needed. We will be trying to limit them the most that we can, but they will happen. Okay. That is a that is a perfectly valid thing to say about early access development. So they're going to they're going to try to not wipe as often as they can, but they do fundamentally understand they will be making changes that will require wipes. Okay. Um No, no, no. No. She said during EA let me read this verbatim. There will be some wipes during early access. And early access starts after the 18th, when needed. We will try to limit them at maximum. Then, this is this is new, there will be a big wipe just before launch. So that's 1.0. So that we start fresh when we release the game in 1.0. Once the game is launched in 1.0, there will be no more wipes. There you go. So... When the game comes out on the 18th, it will be a, an actual early access. It's not going to be like on the 18th, that's your character, which is which is good for the record. If if you would have kept your character on the 18th, then that could have been considered a soft launch. And you know how you kill an MMO? You soft launch it. <laughs> so, no, that's, that's great. The fact that there's going to be a big wipe before 1.0 means that there can be a big celebration the night before. Everyone goes to bed excited because they know they're starting the next day. And then a huge hype event when the MMO drops. That's how they used to do it for MMOs, and frankly, the best times that MMOs used to have were release day. Any any old person that played MMOs will tell you. There is very few things in as hype in life as a brand new MMO on release day. It's an amazing, it was an amazing thing to witness. Hopefully we'll be again when these start coming out again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm, that was the best answer they could have given, um, that they're doing a big wipe right before launch, that's smart. And in that case, I can say even more assuredly, we will be there on 1.0. Uh, in fact, funny enough, one of the reasons I didn't say that with as much gusto earlier was because I was a little concerned that they weren't going to wipe after the 18th. Now that I know they are, absolutely. We will we will assuredly be in this game on 1.0. Uh, we will start a big co-clan. We'll start fresh with everyone else and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Yep. yep, yep, yep. That's great. That's That's actually, that's really good. I'm glad they're doing that. <laughs>